there's two games to go in the season, and we're three points clear up top. Now, if we win one of our last two games, we're probably going to win the league because we have a better goal difference. And I'm not predicting a bottle job. I'm just saying it is a. Uh, it's, it's very possible. Hey guys, and welcome back to the ninth episode of the FM22 Wayne Train Save with me, Raxel FM, where today we are versing Melbourne City and the Central Coast Mariners in our final two games of the league campaign, where we could bottle it, but I feel confident that we're not going to. We only really need three points, and that should be enough with our goal difference to secure winning the league, and if Western Sydney Wanderers drop any points, they shouldn't really be winning the league either so we're in a great position it's just a little bit tense right now and Ben Wayne potentially going to be winning the golden boot so plenty to play for in today's episode and if you are excited about it please make sure you do smash the like button as well as subscribing to the Rex or Femme YouTube channel so you don't miss more content where hopefully next season we will be moving on to a new club and of course bringing Mr Ben Wayne three and a half star current ability Ben Wayne to a new club with us very excited about that can we please smash 10 likes to celebrate the end of the season and a winning campaign surely a winning campaign i back us i think it's going to happen but we're going to have to simulate forward and work out if we can beat who is it melbourne city and central coast mariners and our past experiences against those two sides have been mixed i mean I know last season Central Coast Mariners were a bit of a bogey team for us, but this year I think we've done well to beat them in the one game. Whereas uh, Melbourne Melbourne City are the, the one of two teams that we've lost to, so that's not ideal. Since last time we saw each other, we have actually lost another game, which has led to me having to drop uh, Ollie Sale. We're now starting Paulson, and he's just done a brilliant job. Only conceded two goals from six appearances with four clean sheets. Yeah, it's, it's tough to justify bringing Sale back into the lineup. And if you actually compare the two players, there's not a whole lot in it. So I'm, I'm happy to give Paulson a wee run in the team and see how he goes for some time. Because right now he's doing the job. But recently, two draws have really slipped us up. I think the last game that we covered together was, I want to say, the Central Coast Mariners game. So we played all these games off camera. Mainly wins, but a couple of hiccups here and there. Uh, generally should have been good enough to get us the win but Western Sydney Wanderers doing a very good job this season so we're gonna have to simulate forward and verse Melbourne City because apparently I'm not ready for it and just hope that S Western Sydney drop points and we win our game all right update Western Sydney have not dropped points and I believe the table is not updated because if you go to their schedule I've only got no they do have two no they've got one game left yep no it's not updated so they're on the same amount of points as us and actually a 3-0 win is really good for their goal difference so they're now on just one less than us so it's a it's a must win this one against Melbourne City gosh it's an intense end to the season and in other news before I forget we still haven't finished our Continental Pro but we did re-sign with the Wellington Phoenix that does not mean I'm staying with them uh, next season I just kind of wanted to have a backup job i didn't think it would be the most intelligent move to completely lose my job and we've got tired players including ben wayne oh no okay uh well straight off the bat we're gonna get casero's out for lewis no actually old he's been playing really well for us i'm probably gonna force ben wayne to play we'll get stevens out for roofer and pain out for grant i think that's pretty calm i'm not feeling unconfident with that team i'm fine with this the the uh, tired of players still staying on the bench all right let's give it a whirl it's a must win and people are tired i know ben wayne's not looking too flash but it's ben wayne and it's a crucial game and he is actually on form right now so i'm not taking him out for for randall on the right wing and for ball up top even though i think that would work fine um i'll at least play him until half time see how it goes away from home we need a good result here okay i, I would like to have seen the table 
before we started this, but ho hum, it's all right. They're on the ball early doors though, and that's not really all right. Griffiths moving it. Oh, if we if we lose this game, I've just realised we will go below them because our goal difference is only one above them. So we can't lose this game. We cannot afford to lose this game. Oh no. And then we'd be the people on the back burner. This is a very easily bottleable fixture. Okay, focus. Grant smashes it forward and Ball collects it. Moving the ball into the mixer, is he going to? He does. It falls to Ben Wayne and we're 1-0 up. That is why you start Ben Wayne in the crucial games. After five minutes, we are 1-0 up. And, and I'm already feeling a lot better about this. You know, like, even if they score as a draw... And a draw's all right. That keeps us ahead for the final game of the season at home against Central Coast Mariners. So I, I feel good about this right now. And we're back on the ball. If we win this, we're well and truly in the driver's seat. If we win by, like, two goals, that would be very nice. Okay. Oh, they're attacking us now. Naboo, down this left-hand side, it's definitely their chance. They're going to whip a ball in off something. They get a shot. Oh, no, it's hit the woodwork. Paulson clears it out. Uh, he doesn't concede very often. He's only conceded two goals, as I said before. Let's hope that that, that uh, continues. Old, running forward, tries to play it into someone. This highlight is continuing, which makes me think it's not over. It is over. And now I'm going to pause it so that we can definitely see the league table. It's still not updated with the Western Sydney game. They've scored. It's one all, and it's only been nine minutes. I said that I felt calm after we scored. I don't feel calm now because it's basically just like nothing's happened in the first 10 minutes. And actually, it's a very back and forth kind of game. Both teams getting some possession, some shots. Oh, not feeling good. Not feeling good. Licky. Into Reese. I don't even know how to say that name, but they're passing it around and they're on the ball. And we've won it back. The Kuna, who has actually been a really good signing for us. Rufa. Old, played very well recently. Can he get an assist here? Plays it back to Ball. Can he get an assist here? Irvine, he's been great on the wing, but he can't score there. We are looking the better of the two sides now, though. Six shots to their two. Since they scored, they've been very quiet, not doing a whole lot. I'm hoping that means that we're going to get another goal at some point soon. See, look, nine shots now. They could get anything against a run of play, I'm sure. Oh, and from a corner, it's the perfect chance. We hit it out. And actually, it's our counter-attacking opportunity. This has worked out beautifully. Ball, play it through. Can't find anyone and actually loses it. I don't want this to be their opportunity. Licky, tackle him, Sutton. Oh, Sutton, got to tackle him. Play it back to the goalkeeper. Love to see it. I actually have, you know, I was saying in the last episode, we no longer have interest from like Birmingham for Sutton. Celtic are interested in him. I don't know if they still are, but they definitely were at some point. And um, some Bundesliga side... They've got a red. They've got a red. Oh, boys, we've got to take this chance. We have got to take this chance. This is beautiful. Ten minutes to go on the half. As a highlight, we win the header. Ben Wayne, Rufa, Bakuna. <coughs> I've coughed. <coughs> and that's probably going to stay in the video because I'm probably not going to remember to edit it out. Griffiths, over into Kelly. Ball. Moving it down the wing. It, it's space, but he keeps going. Plays it into old eventually. It does work, actually. Irvine. It's blocked. Oh, it is blocked. Come on. This is... I'm feeling good about this once again. It is an intense end to the season. Wayne. Can't win the header. That's got to be the end of the highlight, I'm sure. Can we see one more chance for us before the halftime break? I have a feeling we might. They're not going to be able to make adjust, adjustments... Until half time. Oh no, I don't like it every time they've got a corner. Thank you. He did it out. I know it normally creates a chance for us, but corners are frightening because anything can happen from a corner. They can just pop up, get a header, get a goal against the run of play. It does not matter how good a team is. Anyone can score from a corner, but we can score from open play. Ball. Play it across. Play it across. There's someone in there, and it is Irvine to make it 2-1 on the night. I knew there'd be someone in there. I told you Irvine has been very good in that left-wing position. That has been a goal that we've scored multiple times this season since moving Irvine to the left wing. Just a ball from ball across the face of the goal, and him there to tap it in. Actually, I'm going to click on him and tell, tell you a bit more, because he's scored three goals and two assists since moving. I'm pretty sure he hadn't got any goal contributions before then bakun has got one goal but he feels decent he just does feel decent when he's playing and san sutton 
is wanted by Celtic and a Bundesliga 2 side, as I said. I think I said Bundesliga, but I think that's the side that um, Sarprit Singh went on loan to. I'm not sure if he... I think he might be signed in real life, but in the save, I'm pretty sure he's somewhere else. But that's not the important thing right now. The important thing right now is that we're winning by only one goal in a crucial match. Ben Wayne is looking very tired, so he is going to have to make way. Ball's going to move to the striker position. I just back him more than Randall as a striker. And now they're clearing the ball long. We're going to win the knockdown, just like that. Now we're going to attack them. Irvine into ball to secure it. Tries to take it around the goalkeeper, but the goalkeeper does read it very well. And uh, it means that it's only a one-goal lead for us still. Sam Sutton to whip a ball in. Doesn't find anyone. I think that's the end of the highlight. Half an hour to go. If we can hold on to this, I am content as. I am absolutely fine with this result. Not, not a problem with it. I just remembered that actually when we lost to Melbourne City on camera, it was because we got a red card to old. So... The world has come full circle, team, and we are now the ones with the lead after they got a red card. So, you know, it's a bit poetic, isn't it? Um, I don't think I have a left back on, but Sutton's not playing great. Instead, I think I might bring Payne on. Oh, no, I'll bring Stevens on because Stevens is more experienced in that CDM role. And I'll save the last substitute for the last couple of minutes. Sutton almost confuses Izzo and scores a goal. I don't think that was the highlight. I think we're going to win this knockdown. We do. Comes all the way back to Paulson. Paulson all the way over to Sam Sutton. Sam Sutton to Bakuna. Bakuna across to Old. Oh, I thought there was a bit of a, a gap there, but the chance is still going on. It's still eyeball. I shouldn't complain about it. Randall puts a ball in. Irvine's there. Bakuna. I oh, was bouncing around, but no one was able to tap it into the back of the net. Very good chance again. One, oh, Irvine's so tired. He's got to come off. So I'll go Lewis and Old switcheroo and play old as the winger that is where he got the red card in the last game actually so i am slightly frightened about that decision but this highlight i believe started before the tactical change so it's a real one and they're on the ball they do have one less player so i i, I kind of back every chance to be ours but you never know what's going to happen oh no this is their chance through paulson I had no idea what was going on there, but luckily it hasn't gone in the back of the net. Ten minutes to go. They're getting more shots now. They are certainly getting more shots now. I think our players are just tiring and they're attacking us, but actually we still have the chances. Randall off the woodwork. That was it. That was the chance to seal the win. And there's more highlights coming. I don't need these more highlights. I'm happy with the 2-1 win. Could we not see any more highlights? Even though I, I'm convinced they're generally going to be our highlights, that was concerning for a second but we've absolutely made sure that didn't go in the back of the net uh sutton moving it forward this has got to be our chance old got the pace to beat the defender he's now caught up to him but he has been able to swing a ball in and that's a pin that's a pin i thought that was a pin it's not a pin okay we're back on the ball though stevens randall moves in david ball has confirmed the win it has not confirmed the title yet because i mean the goal difference thing is, is really coming into question because we are no longer four goals ahead of them. But we are we are looking good for the final game of the season. Even if we draw, we will win the title. And actually, if we score now, I back us. Can we get one more goal? Sam Sutton, he's off. He's off. I'm not even getting excited. I'm not even getting excited. Would have been great for the goal difference, but he's off. He's 100% off. They were all, I think, a mile offside. Yeah, it's disallowed. Unless there was some stupid defender... Who chilled out back. Uh, I was pretty certain that was off. Yet yeah, all of our players are. What are they up to? Absolute idiots. But we've won the game and that was the mission. That was the goal. And now it is confirmed that we are three points ahead with one game to go and a plus two goal difference over the Western Sydney Wanderers. We do have a massive advantage though being the home team in our game and they're the away side. I think we'll be all right because even if we draw, we win. Great performance by Ball. I think he's just broken the record for most men in the matches he has. What a season this player has had. I got a recommendation to move him down to an impact sub. Mate, 12 goals, 9 assists. Yeah, no. He's too good, thank you. And Ben Wayne's just added to his top goal scorer chance. Oh, the other player scored two. <laughs> course the other players scored two all right the battle for the top goal scorer and the battle for the title between wellington phoenix and western sydney wanderers 
as ending on the final game of the season. It's the Phoenix versus Central Coast Mariners. Let's go win the title and let's boost my reputation. Come on. Oh, they've done it well this season. All the games that are crucial at the same time. And I would like to point out one more time, it would be a massive bottle job on my behalf if we don't win this. Come on, let's get the win. All right, Stevens has got to start. Forgot about that. Aside from that, it's the best lineup we have, excluding Kelly being suspended. But that is one of the easiest changes to fix. Payne to centre back, Grant into right back. Making sure it's the right team. Paulson staying in there. This is for the A League title. Even a draw, a nil all draw, will do it for us. We should be beating this team every every single night. We should be beating this team. But something about the last day of the season, it, it makes me nervous. We could get a favour from uh, Brisbane Roar, even without winning this game. But, of course, we want to do our part. And early on, it's looking like our attack is going to be the first highlight. Stevens curling one. Not really troubling the goalkeeper, though. I don't know where we are for this game. This is not our normal stadium. Where are we playing this game? As we hit it wide of the post? I need to know this. Why are we not at Westpac Stadium? Where are we playing? We are playing in... At Waikato Stadium. So we're playing in Waikato. For the final game of the season. Yeah, that was really well scheduled. I mean, it's cool. And we're dominating, so it's going alright right now. But last game of the season, not really... The game that you mix it up and go to a different stadium. Because New Zealand... Because the Phoenix are, are a Wellington team. But they're the... Oh, ben Wayne scored. Ben Wayne. That is the worst mistake I've ever seen. For a crucial game like this. Ben Wayne's just there to pounce. And add to his goal scoring tally. He scored a hat-trick the other day. I forgot to tell you guys about that. He scored a hat-trick. Look. Messed it up. Hits it at the goalkeeper. Comes back into him. And he slots it home. And that could be the goal... To win us the A League. And Western Sydney are scoring, so we need that goal to win the A League. Come on, ball. Into the mixer. Back to Grant. Oh, it doesn't get the touch. Well, actually, we don't need that goal. We we could draw it. But still, it's it's important. Is that a pen? Is that a pen? You know we're giving this to Ben Wayne. Straight off the bat, we're giving this to Ben Wayne. What I was saying before was the Wellington Phoenix are a Wellington based club, which is a city in New Zealand. But it is the only New Zealand team in the A-League, so like they do travel around occasionally um, to other places in New Zealand because obviously all the New Zealand teams support them. But right now we're focusing on this. Ben Wayne, spot kick. He scores it. He scores it, and it's doubly important. One, obviously, for the title. And two, that could be the goal that wins him the golden boot because currently it's not the man that he's versing for the golden boot that has scored there. He's above him right now. He is one goal above in the golden boot race. And we are three points above in the title race. Payne moving it forward into Stevens, Bakuna, into Irvine, Wayne, Caceres. He scored plenty of long shots, but he can't get one there. We'll get a corner though. His long shots, his long shots are a 10. And he, like, that is the statistic. <laughs> and he scored about four this season. Like, four really good long shots. I don't understand it, but... Great signing Caceres has been. But Ben Wayne is stealing the show in the final game of the season. That one of them, that guy is, yep, oh no. Oh no. It's now level. Ben Wayne's got to score a hat-trick to put himself ahead. <laughs> this is interesting. This is heating up. And it is Ben Wayne through. One-on-one. -on -one to, oh, to win the golden boot. Just wide of the post. I mean, he still has time. And a corner is a great opportunity for him to score a goal. But that one-on-one, -on -one, that was a chance. That was a real chance. Are we going to see one here, though? Ball into the mixer to Caceres. Goes down. And are we getting another Ben Wayne penalty? I'm going to make sure it loads and keeps him on penalties. It is. Can he score again? Can he score another penalty? Mr. Ben Wayne is getting another penalty. To make it a hat-trick. He scores it. He scores it. A hat-trick on the final day of the season. And it could be a hat-trick to win him the golden boot. And it's only half-time for reference. It is only half-time. 
Sawyer is the man we need to keep an eye on in this other game because I think we've won the league. We have won the league. I'm putting that out there. But Ben Wayne might not have won the golden boot. Can we get a fourth for him? Please. Ryan Grant, down the wing, looking for a ball into the mixer. Does find Irvine, but it's actually headed away, so he doesn't really find him at all. Sutton, playing it over, doesn't find anyone and goes all the way to their defender, but they clear it poorly. Grant picks it up, into ball, looking for another assist this season. Plays it back to Caceres. Back into Grant, into Caceres, Grant, Wayne, four, and he's on. I, I, no, there's no way he's offside there. There is no way he's offside. I think Ben Wayne has just scored four in this game. Yep, he's just scored four. He was miles on. Absolutely miles on. Caceres, Grant, Wayne, goal. He's never scored four. He's never scored four. He knew it was a crucial game. He knew he needed to score four to win the golden boot. He's done exactly that. He's a legend. He is a legend. Laws is coming on. And we're also going to bring Irvine off for Ben Old because Ben Old has actually been incredible this season. So I reckon he deserves a run around for the last couple of minutes. We've got half an hour to go. And we're basically just doing a victory lap now. Come on. Can we get another one for Ben Wayne? I'm being greedy asking for another one. But he scored four. What's five? What's what's one more to to the four? Grant doesn't find anyone there. Got, kind of miscalculated and miscommunicated that pass, but it's all right. We get it straight back. Stevens, Bakuna, Old, over to Sutton, who has gotten a lot of assists this year. Could add potentially one more by putting a good ball in. No, he plays it into Old. I don't mind that at all. Old's trying to whip it in. Finds ball just wide of the target. So marginally. I would love to get another goal for David Ball as well because he has been pretty close to the top goal scorer race i think he's in third place right now uh, don't expect him to win it but hey you never know what will happen bakuna series he's also scored a lot of goals this year uh got to make some substitutions now though the midfield i've only got one left actually the midfield's looking tired so let's get uh let's get bakuna off and get rufa on and sit back relax enjoy the last 10 minutes of a beautiful performance by ben wayne a beautiful performance by the wellington phoenix and a beautiful season that has led to us winning the A-League. And they still don't have an animation. They still don't have an animation. But we have done it. We have done it. Time to celebrate, boys. For the second year in a row, the Wellington Phoenix has officially... Come on. Come on. Come on. Come oh, on. Okay, okay, okay. okay. It's actually taking a while. Won the A-League title. The regular season. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. And it, it was in dramatic fashion. And to put the icing on top of the cake, Mr. Ben Wayne has won the golden boot. I mean, I think it still continues on into the playoffs, and we are now, obviously, into those semifinals. Uh, but, yeah, you love to see him on top. You love to see him on top. 19 goals, four-star current ability. He is, he's going places, this man. Well, he's going places with us, I hope. Uh, after a 16-goal season last year, He's done better on average rating, better on assists. Worse on player, player of the matches, but 19 goals. What a performance. And I've, I've, got to, I've got to have gone up in reputation. Please tell me I've gone up in reputation now. I'm two stars currently. Are we still two stars? We're still two stars. I did say I hope that if we won both of the, you know, the regular season and the end of season, that I would hope um, my... Uh, my thingamajiggy would go up, but it hasn't gone up just yet. Are we seeing the regulars? The 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 no. Okay, well, all the teams have been drawn, so we actually should have the um the 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 A League off season starting. Here we go. It is going to be yeah. Here we go. Uh, Newcastle Jets versus Melbourne Victory, Sydney FC versus Macarthur. And we will be versing one of those two teams. I don't, I don't know who. See me find. Oh, actually, do they have a tree set up? If so, that would be very handy. Yeah. Okay. So we know that we're versing either Newcastle Jets or Melbourne Victory. I really want the Melbourne Victory to win because the Jets have been a bogey side for us this year. Four-one loss. Where's the victory as well? I don't, I don't think we've dropped points against the victory. No, we have a little draw, but. Okay, that's that's the only time we lost to the Jets. We beat them 2-1. But 4-1 is a really bad result. Uh, so I would love to not have to verse them. 
But I guess we'll find out all of that in the next episode. Ben Wayne, <laughs> to put the cherry on top, nine goals from seven appearances in the final month of the season, winning the Young Player of the Month. I think we won it every... every ben Old won it, and then Ben Wayne won it every other month. Now, last year, it was just about the same. I don't think we can look at it last year, actually. No, I don't think you can. Oh, well, that's all right. Um, yeah, we'll be back for the, the, the A-League playoffs. And uh, you know what? I am... You're going to do this with me again, saving the game and applying for a job because I think sometimes you get sacked for applying straight after you sign a contract, but I feel like it's been long enough. Okay, are we, we... Yeah, we're fine with any of these jobs. Let's apply all. And, and, and I don't get sacked. Beautiful. Love to see it. Hopefully we get some murmurs going around for them because you know now we've got oh, we've got initial budgets hold on i'm just pressing buttons now Five hundred thirty-five thousand pounds <laughs> what's that in wage budget because you know that's the only thing that matters 12k okay it's not that much it's, it's all right it's not bad it could be worse but at least we got it early on this year that's that's nice to see ben wayne will be getting a new contract as soon as um we find out if we are moving on but um, i'm stalling now this video is already 25 minutes long and i'm just i'm just chatting out my bottom all right thank you guys so much for watching subscribe this video subscribe if you have enjoyed this video and like this video if you have enjoyed it as well see you all in the azuzu ute a league series finals let's go